back to the Grumman 2 teardrop series. Uh, now we're going to, we just built the fender, and now we're going to actually be positioning the fender and copying it. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and create a layer here for fenders. We'll call that the fender, or fenders. And then we'll go ahead and put this in the fender. We'll name it fenders. There we go. We got it on there. So what I can do now is I can open up this main group. Well, that won't work actually. Let me go ahead and explode the main group so I can position this on it. Okay. So anyway, what we need to do is establish some grid line or grid lines to position the fender. Um, so anyway, this fender, the back edge of it is going to be 27 inches from the very back, and that's the inside edge. And then I'm going to have them down one inch. And then they're actually going to stick out a quarter of an inch. Well, see, I did that one in the wrong direction. That's why it's good to make sure you pay attention to your to your axis colors. Okay, so that's one inch down. Okay, now what we got to do is click here and drag out a guide and the green is the direction I want to do and we're going to put it out a quarter of an inch. Okay, so what we got to do now is drag that fender over closer to it because I got to be able to zoom in to that mark and see the grid line. So there's my dill, my guide point. Get it up here closer. And that guide point, let me move these so I can see it. That guide point is for this edge, the very inside edge right there. Well, I was on there, but then it moved. And then you'll see it says guide point, so it's it's on the guide point now. Okay, we'll click back, zoom back out of the way, and we'll make sure that that is where we want it to be. And it looks pretty good. It looks fairly centered. Okay, so let's go ahead and just delete the guides right now to get them out of the way. Now this is a really neat feature here uh, that I'm going to show you. It's actually creating an array. It's multiple uh, things that you can create in space um, apart equally. Um, I'm just going to create two. So what you do is you click on the Move button, and then you hit the Control. And you'll see it brings up a little plus. And then... You click and drag in the direction. See, so it leaves the original one and it'll move another one. Now you can just position it where you want, but I want to get it exactly a quarter inch off on the other side, and I know that is 71 and a half inches. So you type 71.5, enter, and there you go. It positions it exactly where I need it. And so now I got two fenders just exactly where I need them. Move back, and for most part, I'm done. Uh, I will probably do one to where I create holes in the shelves and uh, we'll show you how to rotate the hatches and the door so you can show them in the open position if you want. But uh, I'll probably do that a little bit later on. For now, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.